frequent friars, which is kind of hard to say, swear by their electric countertop deep fryers. We have six of them here that we tested. The price range was a low of about $37 to a high of about $130. And testers use them to fry mozzarella sticks, french fries, chicken, cider donuts, and vegetable tempura. Now the news is pretty good on all of these fryers. They all heated up the oil faster than a traditional setup of a cast iron Dutch oven and oil because the elements just have to heat the oil, not the whole pot along with it. We measured the temperature and they were all except for one of them within five degrees of the set temperature. The food was also really good. It was evenly browned, it was evenly cooked, it was nice and crisp. The one exception was the tempura, which was a little bit soggy because it's got to cook at 400 degrees and most of these maxed out at 375 degrees. So given that the cooking performance was pretty much on par, it was features that separated the winner from the losers. Most of them have fry baskets that are between 50 and 60 square inches, which was on the small side compared to one of them, this one with the fry basket of 84 square inches. Because this was generously sized, the batch cooking was minimized. You could fit a whole bag of fries in there perfectly easily. Also, it had a lid, as you can see, and fairly high sidewalls, which helped contain the mess. Better than that, it had a built-in oil filter and a storage reservoir, making this one the easiest of all of them to clean. And this was, in fact, our winner. This is the Tefal Ultimate Easy Clean Fryer. It's about $95, and you can safely say that it fried the competition. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>